343 just posted some expectations to have for the July reveal of Halo Infinite for the Xbox July showcase and a tease for what's coming for Halo in July. But is it enough for fans? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel, helps more people get the chance to see these videos so people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. As we do know, Halo Infinite's reveal is coming out on July 23rd. I will be having a watch party on my Twitch channel, guys. Link in the description down below. I would love to see the community that we've built up on this channel come over and hang out and get some hype for Halo Infinite this month. As stated, we have the Xbox reveal of Halo Infinite coming out on July 23rd. The live stream is going to be quite the exciting moment, quite a turning point just in Halo's franchise and Xbox as a whole. One of the most important dates probably ever in Xbox's history, in my opinion. And so we're going to have that reveal now. There's been a lot of speculation on what we will see for Halo Infinite. I've seen a lot of people in the comment section saying what they want to see for the game. And basically everything. We all want to see everything for the game. Obviously, yes. But this is the first time we will see the game itself, really. Uh, we've had an announcement trailer. We've had the Discover Hope trailer, which kind of showcased the beginning cinematic of the game. But I think we're going to have a chance to see some actual campaign gameplay. And I mentioned campaign is because recently Unishack posted a community post over on Halo Waypoint as he does about every month or so. And they mentioned this one little thing very specifically in this post saying, we're excited to share what the team's been working on. The first look at Halo Infinite's campaign is coming on July 23rd. Now, Unishek specifically mentions campaign. Doesn't mention anything about multiplayer or Forge or anything like that, just the campaign, which honestly, for a first like time revealing the game, pretty standard to show just campaign stuff as that's the most curated content out there. Probably the most well uh, developed stuff that they can show this early on. You know, a lot of people I'm sure probably wanted to see a lot of multiplayer gameplay some Forge stuff, I'm sure, as well as some theater, you know, some community uh, interaction with the game as well. You know, we all want to see this. We all want to see the core mechanics of the game and everything else in between. But honestly, like, there's going to be a very big time crunch of what we're going to be able to see for Halo Infinite, as this is probably going to be about, maybe about an hour, hour and a half long show, and we're having so many different Xbox studios all showing their games during this. Halo Infinite's reveal time, probably about... 15 maybe 20 minutes so for having such a potentially limited time to show for halo infinite and what they can show i wouldn't be surprised if they show just the campaign stuff now we do know we will be having flights for halo infinite and my assumption is that's probably where we'll get a chance to really see the multiplayer as they probably want to save that reveal for probably like an announcement for halo insider program to sign up for that uh, probably off on the stream or sometime after this july event as well so can pretty much keep your focus on just the campaign is what we can expect for the reveal of halo infinite which i think will do a great job of uh showcasing the tone of game they want to play the enemy factions we're going to play the certain kind of abilities that we're going to have on top of that weapons things like that so the basic understandings of what we're going to be seeing with this game and i'm pretty much all for this man i'm excited yes i would love to see everything the game has to offer right now but obviously there's probably some time crunch and also what they can show maybe what they're looking to reveal later Later on this this isn't going to be the only time we're going to get halo infinite news for the rest of this year guys this isn't like you know one day and that's it we're going to get multiple releases multiple announcements so it may be a little uh, disappointing for some people out there to only know that we probably will just see campaign even though it's rather standard for reveals and also that we're going to get more information later on guaranteed that uh, so we'll probably know more the day of july 23rd as in every time there's been a major halo announcement as in the announcement trailer the Discover Hope trailer. There has been an, a post on Halo Waypoint along with those describing more of what we're seeing, what we're going to see. So we will certainly have, I'm sure, a roadmap of some sort of when this July event comes out for us. So really, that's just kind of a long-winded way of saying, if you only see campaign, don't get mad. You'll get your other information soon enough. I guarantee we will. At the top of this video, I also mentioned a bit of a tease of what we're going to be talking about.
about. And what I mentioned by that is also on this community post, they mentioned about how uh, we will have the HDS Pro Series events happening on throughout this month as well, as they took the July 4th weekend off. Again, we're having an open event on July 11th and then a pro event on July 18th. And then the following weekend after that, eyeballs. That's what Unishek posted right there. So I think he kind of mentioned more of a wait and see kind of thing. I think it's what he's kind of alluding to using that emoji, which he does use quite often on Twitter. And so I would assume that's part of what's going to happen. Now, this makes me think, well, maybe they're just going to move over to Halo 3. Some people have even speculated Halo Infinite beta. Uh, I want to mention this one quote, the announcement of the HTS Pro series uh, for the MCC, mentioning, and I will quote this exactly, saying, uh, the future game will be Halo 2 Anniversary on PC, which is set to release on May 12th, but we will also be injecting other MCC titles as they release on PC. As well, we'll be listening to player feedback to help determine which game or games to play over the course of the program. Now, this probably will make you think most likely Halo 3 Assets is maintaining the MCC style of play right there for sure. And I would highly doubt that they would showcase the gameplay on the weekend just right after the reveal, say for Halo Infinite, which would be on the, this would be on the 25th for this next event. Uh, I would doubt we would see in a beta for Halo Infinite. Maybe we will. I'm not totally sure on that. Obviously, we'll see more once the July 23rd reveal event comes around. Uh, I would say most likely this will be uh, a shift to using Halo 3 as the main game as it's releasing on July 14th. And obviously, Halo 3 is the most popular game out there. Though I would like to see other games get utilized more just because we already have a big stint of Halo 3 being the main title to, to be competitive on for the MCC during 2019 and I'd like to see other things being utilized so potentially after the, re the reveal of Halo Infinite on, tw on the 23rd we might have some kind of Halo Infinite kind of flight starting maybe on the 25th we don't know um, I would think that you know with using the eyeball emojis it kind of alludes to something a little bit more than just another MCC game or maybe it's just saying hey Halo 3 is gonna be the next game we're moving on towards there's a lot of speculation with that. I'm just kind of, you know, talking about this, but I'm just letting you know that that's you specifically mentioned that weekend for some reason that uh, you got to keep an eye out for that third weekend away from what we're doing right now. Whatever it ends up being, I guarantee you, we will report it on this channel, guys. So if you want to stay up to date with all the Halo information you want to know, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel, guys. Keep yourself up to date. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it or learned something from it today. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Well, if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. It's like a link to all my news and informational videos you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. But thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.